I'm Leah Knights and welcome to a... I just got back from tour and wasn't super organised this week edition of Ask a Sex Worker a Question. So today's question comes from a curious cat anonymous person. Today's question is, do you enjoy the sex? Well, usually, yes. <laughs> yeah, look, I assume that uh, if I'm not enjoying it, then my client's not. And that's just not a good place for either of us to be in. To be honest, I want that client to come back and that client doesn't want to feel like they've wasted their money. So I straight up only offer things that I really enjoy. That's why I think I've not burnt out in the whole time that I've been working. Like I get sick of it occasionally, yes, but I still don't hate all men. <laughs> yeah, it's why I only offer services that I really enjoy and that I can basically enjoy with anyone. I think that's a little bit of a secret that you really need to not try to have like personal sex with your clients because they're your clients. There's a, there's a boundary there that um, I've never really struggled, let's be honest. It's like pretty cut and dry, but that I have seen a lot of other people struggle with having that sort of balance. I think for me personally, that goes a long way between just having private life and work life and having them have nothing to do with each other. Also, when it comes to like enjoying yourself in the services, the communication is key. And for me, that means being able to assert my boundaries, stick to them, and just enjoy my time with whichever stranger may be in my room that day. That's why I do my job, because I enjoy it. Yeah, I know that that's... A lot of people really want to hear, oh no, it's terrible, it's this and that. And to be honest, like I, I probably, like 80% of my job, I really do enjoy. It's... The 20% isn't even room related for me. Like the 20% of my job that I dislike has absolutely nothing to do with physically interacting with my clients. It has 100% to do with the crappery that goes on on my work phone by far. Or maybe introing. Sometimes you just, you want to, you just, you don't necessarily like everyone you intro and that's just fine. That's allowed. You don't have to like everyone. But again, I think there's a lot of pressure for people in the sex industry to just, they always have to have this, I like everyone, I'm friendly, I like everything about this. No, that's not the case. We're allowed to have days where we're just like, yeah, that. Like, you just can't help it. That's just life. Sex workers can't avoid that either. So yes. Do you enjoy the sex? Yes, I do. At the end of the day, that would be the answer to that question. And yeah, I don't feel like I should be ashamed to admit that I enjoy my job. Most of the follow-up questions to that anonymous, it kind of feels like they didn't really want me to say that I did. Which is kind of creepy of you, just say. Just another point on the crappier like part of my job when it like when it comes to like dealing with people on my phone and stuff. I find now that I'm like a bit older that I have less um, fruit tingles to give, we'll say, and I kind of enjoy trolling them. Once you sort of get out of the headspace that these guys are stressing you out because like you know they're time wasters and they're they're chewing up time that I could be spending on other people that are actually going to you know pan out as bookings once you stop stressing over that and just start messing with it's cheaper than therapy like it really is and it becomes fun unfortunately the side effect for me has been i get less idiots <laughs> huge drop idiots that contact me so i guess it's a win as well peyton and i had some people prank call us while we were on tour at like two o'clock in the morning and so I thought it'd be fun because, you know, clearly they've been up all night. I thought it'd be fun because I wake up naturally quite early. I'm going to prank them back <laughs> at six o'clock in the morning and tell them that their fridge is running. So I did that. That was fun. I had a giggle. They were really confused <laughs> and I'm okay with that. So this has been another episode of Ask a Sex Worker a Question. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. We'll have new videos coming out every Friday. 